the main aim of Plankto Serve is to study the impact of global change on planktonic communities and to understand how alterations of these communities may in turn impact the ecosystem services they provide. Plankto Serve is special in the sense that most studies conducted so far have only worked with temperature or only manipulated pH, for example. Plankto Serve will conduct experiments that recreate realistic scenarios. We base our experiments on the scenarios predicted by the IPCC. And we just want to find out what happens when global change is happening. So when different parameters like temperature and CO2 and nutrients are uh, changing at the same time. And how is the community affected by this? So how is also the, the food quality uh, affected? So it is really interesting to predict what might happen in the future to our oceans and to the marine food web when this community is altered due to global change, basically. We are currently running a mesocosm experiment on zoos, studying how phytoplankton and zooplankton communities respond to global change. They are the base of marine food webs, and just like anything else, if you change something in the bases, it will cascade up in the trophic levels. So any impact on phytoplankton would have huge impact for other animals or any kind of organism in the sea. Conducting this type of experiment is particularly complex and one of the challenges is that planktonic organisms are very sensitive. For that reason, we sampled water using the UTA, the research vessel of the Alfred Wegener Institute, and we transported this water then on Zolt. On Zolt, we used cranes to lift essentially those tanks and by elevation differences this water was equally distributed to the different mesocosms we are using here. We expect obviously change in communities, but we want to understand why there was this change by, of the communities looking at these physiological markers. So this is our tank setup. And uh, here in the middle we have our bag with the actual natural community from the sea. This is the phytoplankton community growing here. And here around we have water. There's like a water bath to keep the temperature stable inside the bag. And this agitator keeps the water moving and mixed, just like the currents in the ocean. And we have all this bubbling coming from the water that keeps the uh, atmosphere around the bag to resemble actually the scenarios that we want with higher CO2 concentrations. In the control tank, we expect the same species that are currently now in the sea and in the treatment tank, then it will be interesting to see what happened. We are currently studying the impact of global change on the phytoplankton bloom that occurs in summer. However, there is another phytoplankton bloom, usually larger, that occurs in spring. And we will do a second experiment in spring studying this bloom and how global change then impacts these communities.